West, uh, you know, Batman and, um, just, uh, I, I did it, I, I, I met Batman, don't tell anyone because I put Batman under the spell and, and I, I shouldn't do that to, but the greatest living legend really, um, the one and only Adam West. At first I was uh, very afraid of the big black bat, but then I figured that it was the, the Batman from the 50s and 60s, 60s and 60s, yeah, I was going to say 60s because it was a very sexy time. He was always, you know, fighting but at the same time trying to get liaisons with him, with his uh, partner, shall we say, Robin. Uh, I never knew if Batman was really gay or not and I didn't want to pop the question because sort of those innuendos falling into shape. Your superhero like Bite Man or Batman or Buttman or whatever you call him. Adam West is the personification of the most debonair, suave, you know, um, uh, tongue-in-cheek, very camp Batman. He was great because he's so artistic and he's really... He really is a dry sense of humour. You really need that here when you play a superhero like that. I mean, who really sleeps in a bat cave hanging upside down and, you know, he's got a butler to tend to all his needs and he's got this wicked car that, like, has, like, a nice hatch and a, and a cave that has all these devices and that. And you had, you know, villains like King Tut and, um, guys like, uh, you know, the Joker and uh, uh, Vincent Price, my favourite, is Egghead, the best Batman villain there really was. I always said I liked the, the part when you, you get the clouds there and there's an action sequence and one guy punches, you know, Catwoman sort of, uh, you know, scratches someone and goes, you know, meow or something in the, in the puff of smoke and, you know, you've got the words right in there and the action sequences and, and it was very, like, cheesy sort of dialogue and stuff that really makes you figure, are they going too over the top here or is this really just a joke? Same bat time, same bat channel. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to tell him that, uh, but I did say back to the Batmobile, same bat time, same bat channel, same bat station, um, you know, and it always left you wanting, craving more, like, you know, an episode would end and then it would, like, it was an inconclusive episode because they'd leave you with a clue as to what's going to happen next, but you don't really know. It left you in suspense. It was really a thriller. It was really, you know, um, it was really full of sledgehammer. It was like, a, you know, like Dr. Goldfoot and the Bikini Machine and uh, Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. You know, that sort of 70s, 60s, you know, mod sort of day glow sort of thing, you know, woven into the fabric of pop culture. Forget the Michael Keatons and the um, and the Val Kilmers and the George Clooney's and the, and the weak ass uh, actors who played him in later years. Nobody could duplicate that role as good as Adam West himself. You have to understand that, you know, it had better villains. It had Egghead, King Tut, he um, had so many things of Americana sliced into one. You know, every day, you know, you, you know, the Joker would go with a bank, bank robbery, a bank heist with, uh, with uh, you know, the Penguin. And, and, you know, the Penguin would open his umbrella and, you know, shoot something out of it. And that was the Burgess Meredith and the C Cesar Romero and the Vincent Prices and the, you know, the, um, the, the Frank Gorshins, you know, playing the Riddler. That was, the, you know, the heyday of the, of the Batman stuff. So being the hyperactive Bing Bing Bunny I am, I'm going to get a little friskier here. So Bing Bing, you know, Jackrabbit stall and go and just kamikaze people with my with my bling bling and and you know we're rocking the rocking the uh, the dollar signs and whatnot i is the the bling bling bunny and i'm hip and then adam west even said that i'm he complimented me he said cave you're very hip i like that i like i like that sort of get up that you have i like the the like the star you've created a great creation that's his sort of thing of telling me that i'm the next best thing since uh, fresh bread came sliced you're gonna be a big fan of the bling bling bunny i assure you as it's my new creation i'm bringing it back i'm a real cool you know cool rabbit with the rolls of the cheddar and and the bling bling and so i'm gonna go and and get you know hype and big up you know so holla 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 at you holla back at the bling bling bunny i'm gonna go see my peeps i guess you could say they're my peeps off to see uh, the wizard the wonderful wizard of oz so with that i give you the bling bling bunny eyes off peace out homies eyes the bling bling bunny i've got the cheddar macking your hose I'm keeping the cheddar right here. I'm making the cheddar right here. I'm taking the cheddar from you. So holla at you and see you later. I'm a cool bunny. Cheers. <laughs>